Hi, this is Andrew. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to submit a project to DevPost for a hackathon. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is either log in or sign up for DevPost. If you don't already have a DevPost account, you can hit the Sign Up button up here, and then sign in with one of these or sign up with email. If you already have an account, you can log in and enter your email and password or log in with your connected account. Once you're logged into DevPost, you next need to find the hackathon you're, that you're submitting for. Most hackathons will be visible from the Hackathons tab, and you can either search for it up here, filter it, or sort by the submission deadline. You can also scroll down to view all hackathons that are ongoing. Once you've found the hackathon that you're interested in, you can go ahead and click on the hackathon that you want to register for. The next thing you need to do is register as a participant of the hackathon. It is important that every team member for your project registers individually, even though only one person is required to go create the submission. To register, each person goes through and clicks the green register for this hackathon button, and then completes the form below. So you type the information, and then you can hit register. You're now listed as a participant of the hackathon and will be visible in the participants tab. This is great in terms of marking that you're here in terms of attendance so that employers looking at it, even if you don't demo, can see that you were here. From then, you can go and start your submission. Note that only one person from your team needs to start your submission. In order to start your submission, click the Get Started button. This will go through and show you a list of all the different projects you already have on DevPost or give the ability to create a new project. Most of the time, you'll click Create a New Project. Then, declare what your project is called. So, I'm going to enter my project name, confirm that I'm not a robot, and click Save and Continue. You're now at the portal where you can enter in all the information about your submission. There's a wide variety of things that you can complete, and what's required varies from hackathon to hackathon. Many in-person hackathons use this just as a submission portal to see who's demoing, and they may not judge you on the quality of your dev post submission. Other hackathons, however, may judge you on the quality of your dev post submission as one of the judging criteria. In general, you want to make your dev post as complete as possible because it will be used as a resume item for you in the future, as a lot of employers use dev post as a portfolio page for the things that you've built. To complete the dev post project page, you can go enter in all of the information. You can change the thumbnail image. You can add an elevator pitch. You can list all the languages that it's built with. You can add your email or your, you can add your team members via email and send them an invite. You can add the whole description and note that it gives you all of these existing headings, which are very helpful in terms of guiding what to write about. And many people use these in order to basically guide what their submission should contain. You can upload images. You can upload URLs, which is great. The great thing too is you can add more than one. So if you have built like a web app, you can go upload the link to the website as well as the link to the dev post to see the code. And then finally, you can add a video demo for your project. I'm gonna get this filled out and we'll check back later. Okay, so I just hit the green save button on the project page and my project is now saved and ready to go. The next thing I need to do is actually submit my project for demoing. To do this, you first want to list all the prizes that you're competing for. So for example, if I click here, I can say that I'm going for the best web app and the best use of Google Cloud Platform. You can list as many prizes as you're eligible for. In addition, many hackathons, if they're sponsored by MLH, will have additional MLH categories for you to enter. For example, the MLH points, which is the universities where your people are attending from, as well as things that you've used from the MLH hardware lab and the MLH software lab. Once you've entered all of the information into your submission, you can hit complete submission. You've now successfully submitted your project to your hackathon. Note that if your submission window is still open, you can continue to edit your submission by clicking edit, edit hackathon submission. In addition, each group member should describe their contribution to the project over in this box here so that when it's a group project, both employers and hackathon judges know what each person worked on. Congratulations, you've just submitted your hackathon project 
to DevPost and are now ready for demoing.